I wanted to talk a bit about uh, research in the software verification lab. This is uh, my research lab. Um, and I want to talk a bit about things that we do, uh, things so that if you're interested in and you want to join, um, I'll tell you why. How? <laughs> Not why. <laughs> so um, what do we do? So our, our main objective is to make your programs run right. So we really are interested in studying how systems work, how programs work, uh, describing what we've learned uh, mathematically. Uh, there's a big focus in specification, uh, which is why I talked so much of it in this course. Um, we want to understand also why systems fail. Um, a lot of tools that we build are to find um, families of errors. You know, you have, uh, for instance, you have deadlocks if you want know what that is. Uh, where you have multiple threads and they're all stuck because one is waiting for the other and so on. Uh, we build tools that find that finds those um, kinds of errors. So any kind of deadlock would be identified by such a tool. Uh, and you can do that either by looking at the source code or by running the program, uh, your program, and there are pros and cons for each way, uh, or there are contexts in which you want to do one and there are contexts in which you want to do the other. And we kind of work in both. We we develop techniques that are uh, work by analyzing the source code, and we have other tools that work by running or they in, instrument your code to make it run safely. Um, in terms of a uh, bigger picture, uh, we really care about high performance computing, and this is for those of you who don't know. This is the backbone of scientific advancement, right? This, these are the supercomputers that are uh, available for uh, physicists, chemistry, uh, chemists, and all that to advance um, their work. So these will be hu usually really, really large programs that are running on thousands of uh, computers in a network. Um, so we focus on these large-scale scientific workloads. Um, and our research is really on improving the quality assurance of these codes. So we're very interested in bugs that occur in these kinds of programs, programs that are running in, in supercomputers. Uh, you don't need a supercomputer to run it. And in fact, um, I don't have a supercomputer at home and I can still do my research. Um, and we are looking for collaborators, collaborators uh, specifically for a summer research project. So if you're interested in doing that, uh, you should contact me. That's when I'm mostly available. Uh, and we can think of a project. Uh, there's a lot of stuff that we do. We have more than 40 open source um, projects that we've developed uh, that you could work on. And this is my my one web page. And there's also on SVL. Sorry, this is... If you follow the link, you'll get it because otherwise it's kind of showing my, my own. But we also have this one, UMB. Actually, I didn't even show. Let me show you. MBSVL. This is our web page. And you can see like the three main projects. Although currently we're mostly working on this one, which is uh, GPU programming. Um, yeah, this is the web page. It's available through my uh, home homepage as well. And these are some papers that we've published, and these are some of the people we work with. Um, uh, so yeah, we have a lot of s s software that we've developed. We have things written in Python, and C++, in Java, or Camel, Cock, Racket, you name it, it's probably there. Um, what you will learn if you're working with me, for instance, during the summer, is really this intersection between software engineering and logic. <laughs> you don't need to be scared. You you can work more towards one or towards the other, depending on what you're interested in. Um, we work a lot with functional programming. Uh, we study functional and uh, parallel programming. Uh, we do have a lot of work uh, supporting um, Continuous in integration pipelines, if you know of that. So if you've ever heard of, um, s uh, what is it called? SysDev, DevSys. Uh, they work a lot with that. And we work with that as well because we want to maintain our software and make sure that it's reliable. 
we do use supercomputers, um, but mostly for our experiments, uh, things can be done on your own computer. We implement a lot of compilers, interpreters, and debuggers. Kind of depends on what kind of tool we're working on. We also do works in terms of programming proofs, uh, where your program is actually a proof. Uh, and this is cool stuff that I really like as well. Uh, and we use a thing called a set solver um, and model checkers. These are just tools that are designed to solve very specific problems, um, where model checkers is just a way to brute force. Uh, like imagine you have a program, you want to make sure that if the program works properly, you can just run it in all possible inputs. Model checkers do that. Um, and set solvers, you you kind of have a puzzle and the solver will try to solve that puzzle for you. And they're very useful to find bugs, for instance. Um, and also I want to talk about like uh, this week, I was, it was very, I was very happy because we got a paper accepted. And one of the reasons it made me very happy was because it's a paper that has uh, was the first paper of my PhD student, uh, Dennis, and also had an um, undergraduate alumni, um, Hannah, who is also a member of, or an author of that paper. Uh, and it was a really cool experience to see them. It was their, own, their first paper for both of them. Uh, one is, you know, they just finished um, her undergraduate program and now is going to start a PhD. And the other one is just doing a PhD. So it was very cool to see how they worked and how they they worked very well, and uh, it was a great success. I'm very proud of that. Um, yeah, and this work was on the um, on GPU programming and finding bugs for it by looking at the source code. Where is it? SVL. Here you go. Safer GPU programming. Um, so it's pretty cool if you're interested and just contact me and we can figure out something that you're interested in doing. Um, and that is it. So in our next video, we're going to cover pattern matching. So hope you enjoyed this, this video.